Hi crafters, Karen here from Karen's Crafting Company. And in today's video, it's all about another Smash Our Stash collaboration series hosted by Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts. For the month of October, we are focusing on scraps, whether it be cardstock, pattern paper, fabric, vinyl, all of that kind of good stuff. So what I thought I would do is I have a folder that you see here in front of you that I uh, use for carrying or holding all kinds of holiday pattern paper. So a lot of Christmas, even some winter themed uh, papers, cardstock that I use, uh, any scraps that I'm working on with those will go in this folder. So I thought that I would create some more Christmas cards using my scraps. So when you look at the folder, yes, this is all that I have left of my holiday scraps. So I thought what I would do is, is for these, these are borders uh, from 12 by 12 uh, paper packs. And I think this is from the Safe Freeze, if I remember uh, correctly. And actually, that same paper pad is actually out this year. At least I saw it at my Michaels uh, just a couple of weeks ago. So because these are 12 by 12, and because I am a scrapbooker, I will use these for my scrapbooks. So these will definitely not go to waste. So let me show you what I did with the scraps. So all my cards that I'm going to show you today are, I used Crafty L's sheet load of cards. So here I brought in the May 2020 sheet load. And here I have, again, the same pattern. And I just brought in uh, some winter uh, pattern papers that I had and uh, used those up. So I was super excited to have used them up. That is the May 2020. And then moving on to June 2020, here is the template, and then here are my cards. And I also had some scraps of uh, my cardstock, like this foil that you see here. I dug into my scraps for that. Some of these embossing pieces were also in my scraps, so I was really happy to be able to uh, use a lot of those up. Moving on to the November 2020. So here we have the sketch, and then here are my cards. Now, this is actually a border strip and I was able to cut these down to uh, get uh, this part of that border. Uh, they had some really cute snowmen and some snowmen family, and I thought, oh wow, let's, you know, let's see if I can cut it up where I can get the snowmen um, in there. And I was definitely able to, so that worked out great. And then this is another border strip uh, of the stockings. I actually uh, have a couple of those extra pieces left in my scrap pile. And then this was an actual tag and I just trimmed it down to fit uh, this, um, this template. And then there's again some more uh, of the stockings. Moving on to the November 2021 sheet load, I got one card from here. And for this card, I did leave out the embellishment and the sentiment piece. Um, I thought that uh, this pattern paper here with the wording on it um, kind of would act as my sentiment. And then I will definitely stamp uh, one of my uh, Christmas sentiments um, inside. And I did use one of my uh, snowflake embossing folders uh, to create that background. And then last but not least, this is the February 2022. And again, this one was pretty easy and I did have to, um, I, some of my strips aren't as wide as what the template calls for, but that's okay. It still works out. I didn't want to have to 
uh, cut anything more down or um, you know I didn't want to make more scraps so uh, again using that uh, crinkle green foil in the background I have my poinsettia uh, die cut uh, so and then just adding some sentiments there so super cute uh, cards and how they turned out and um, using my layering uh, stocking dies from scrapbook.com uh, this is a Sizzix uh, die set uh, it comes with uh, snowmen Santa Claus elves and a penguin and then uh, here more of that winter paper and uh, you know bringing in some of the uh, sticker sentiments that I had in my stash this is also um, an embossing uh, die cut uh, folder all in one, same as that poinsettia. So I brought that in for my embellishment. More stockings, and then I just added uh, one of my sentiment stamps on here. And then this embossing I actually had in my scraps, and they were cut into strips. And I was able to cut the three to uh, make this uh, last card. So of all these cards uh, that I made uh, for this series, I was able to get 22 cards. So I'm super excited that I went, decided to go into my Christmas scrap folder and pull out those scraps and pretty much use most of it. Uh, like I said, I do have those borders left. Uh, so I'm super excited that I was able to use up more of my scraps. I hope that this has inspired you to go ahead and to uh, dive into your scrap pile and use up what you have in your stash. You'd be amazed at how many cards you can get just from scraps alone. Well, this wraps up another video, friends, and I hope that today is a crafty day. We'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.